Mumbai, formerly called as Bombay, is a densely populated modern city of India's western coast and a financial center of modern India. As it is said, it's a city that never sleeps. But the best part for me in it, hidden amongst the bursting street of South Mumbai and its prowling skyline, lies a heaven of solace and peace, the Hasanabad. Place where my grandfather was born, my father was born, and many of us. Let's go from Baikala Station to Hasanabad. As you can see on the left are some of the old shops, such as Persian Darbar. As we pass and take the left turn, on the right of us, we can see Gloria Church, one of the beautiful buildings of Bhaikala. Built in 1913, Gloria Church is part of UNESCO heritage. These are the lanes we can never forget, as on the right we can see Masina Hospital. Most of my uncles and aunts were born here. And when we pass on the right again, we can see Rustamba, beautiful buildings built with sandstone and limestones. And as we take the right turn at Mustafa Bazaar, here comes the most beautiful lane for me and my family. On the right of us, in some time, we can see Sita Falwadi. And the left, opposite to Hasnabad, what we can see is Anjirwadi. Probably, all these places had something to do with the fruits. And here comes the beautiful memory lane for all of us, or most of us. The buildings of Hasnabad, the buildings that is home, or was home, of many families, we stayed in Hasnabad for years together. The blessed families if I may say so. And here comes the beautiful and royal gate of Hasnabad. And what you can see inside, the Hasnabad Darga. We will park our car near the other side of Hasnabad. And the buildings that we can see are enclosing the beautiful art craft made hundreds of years ago. Welcome to one of the most beautiful buildings of modern India and I call it Taj Mahal of Mumbai. A setting piece, beauty and historical significance, Hasnabad is a hidden gem in the cool shade of its carved arches. Visitors are transported to a different time, far from the web of high-rise buildings and apartment blocks. Hassan Ali Shah, hence the name Hasnabad, the 46th Imam of the Khojas, also known as Aga Khan I, is led to rest here. Aga means elder brother and Khan means king in Turkic and Mongolian languages. It is important to note that he had his roots in Persia and had traveled through the parts of Arabian Peninsula and India for diplomatic reasons before finally settling down in Mumbai. Built in 1884 by Aga Khan II and a local Khwaja community for Rs 3 lakh, it is the resting place of Aga Khan I. Saying the beautiful, iconic architectural structure of Hasnabad Durga is blissful to eyes. Just to begin, we can see intricate craftsmanship inside each dome. And 
as we can see more, the beautiful amalgamation of black and white marble, a beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. If you try and find the gaps, you won't find them. Looks like one carpet. The pillars made of sandstone stand tall even today in a majestic way. This is the main entrance of the Makbara for which I won't want us to go in with the camera. Just look at this amazing filigree work in a single stone of marble and you can see this in all the windows around it. It's pure bliss to watch this. Along with the amazing architectural work, the greenery around it with help of two beautiful gardens makes the place even more heavenly beautiful. The doors with silver inlays makes it even more majestic with a beautiful craftsmanship done in the metal too. We can see one more amazing art craft a filigree done in one single tile of marble. Let's once again understand the significance as this being over 140 years old. The Hasnabad Darga overlooks a playground and shares a space with an Ismaili Jamaat Khana and a beautiful housing society. About 1000 tolas or approximately 12 kilograms of gold is used to beautify the crafted minars. These are my personal sweetest memories where my family lived for decades together. Hence, this beautiful heritage site to me is a symbol of Indian culture of peace and togetherness. Thank you.